Right, welcome ladies and gents. I hate to say I told you so, but Salem's Lot, the remake, it's not very good, is it? 37% audience score, 50% critics. I said, I know from sources, I, I said this like a year and a half ago, two years ago now. I can't even remember when it was, but it was a while ago. I did a video saying Salem's Lot is unsalvageable. I hate to say it. Well, I don't hate to say it, actually, to be honest. I like to be vindicated on these things. Because loads of people swing by my channel and they go, uh, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. But they do it all the time. Well, look, there you go. Sources were right. And again, the thing is, right, with sources, uh, not, you know, not tomato sauce. Um, but with, <laughs> when you're dealing with individuals that have seen a film, it is just their opinion. But there was many, many reasons why Salem's Lot as a remake didn't look like it was going to be very, very good, right? So at the point where I had heard where they did the test screening, where I had heard, uh, at that point it had already been delayed quite a lot. So to hear from another test screening after multiple delays that it was unsalvageable, to then get it delayed again, to then get it finally to release, but then they moved the release to HBO or Max or whatever they're calling it now, it was pretty much a foregone conclusion that this was not going to be good. Like even though you're dealing with someone's opinion, right? There was multiple other signs as to why this was going to be garbage. And I and I said those things at the time, but people were like, oh, you're just a hater. Mate, I don't care. I've got a vested interest in this. I couldn't care less. Like, I don't have... I'm not biased either way. Like, I couldn't care less. I want more good horror, actually, is what I really want. So, to hear that this was, wasn't very good wasn't... Like, it wasn't good for me. Like, I wasn't like, yeah, get it, Salem's Lot. But I did say some stuff about Stephen King, because Stephen King was like, I've seen it and it's amazing. And I'm like, yeah, well, you would say that, because you're getting money from it, you dumbass. And everyone was like, oh, Stephen King, you just hate Stephen King. No, I don't. I'd like other people, you know, other people's works to be adapted, quite frankly. But there you go. Look, it's not very good. Um, also, side note, we've now got uh, a, a leaked look at Kurt Barlow. I mean, it's not really even been leaked now, has it, to be fair, because it's out. You can watch the film. People have watched it. And again, there was a reason why it was delayed. Oh, there you go. There's Kurt Barlow. I mean, it's not good, is it? You're going to tell me that looks good? You're going to tell me this guy looks good? Really? I mean, I'll give, I'll give him this. At least they weren't practical. But Jesus, that is shit. Like, that is bad. Like, holy cow, mate. That's crap. And so, like I said, it was unsalvageable. I said this at the time. Barely anyone's watched it either. Um, so I thought we'd just take a look at the reviews, basically, and see what they're saying. See what you think of it and things like that. Uh, hit subscribe if you're new here. And also do turn those bell notifications on. Because I do post leaks. Or I post test screening reactions. And ye of little faith, some people swing by and go, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't have any sources. And I always say, I'll be vindicated. I'll be proven right. And lo and behold, I am proven right. And I know people go, well, we don't like it when you smug like this. Yeah, fine. But I have to point it out every now and then. Because uh, you guys don't see the comments that I see. But anyway, it says this. Watch the 1979 version. It's by far superior in every way to this one. And again, it's not like everyone hates it. Most people do. But, you know, some people like it. So this is a good one, right? Flawed but very fun. I'm a big fan of the book and the original miniseries. And although this takes some pretty big liberties with the story itself, it still feels faithful to the spirit of the story throughout. Great scares and tension, though I do agree that it could have been uh, could have used some more time to develop the characters and story. I've read that the original cut was three hours, and while that's probably over long, I would love to see a two-hour cut or something like that. Now, I never heard that it was that long. I just heard it was unsalvageable and was like absolutely like yeah, just dog shit basically. Uh, why is no one afraid of the vampires? Why is Mark Petri, an 11-year-old boy, not afraid of anything? If the characters are not afraid, why would the audience be? Why is the director okay with this and not directing his cast to emote? Why are vampire hands pulling people off screen like a Looney Tunes cartoon and, sp <laughs> and sped film sequences reminding the audience that this is not real? Why is there no depth to any character? <laughs> Except the cap. Oh my god, this is, ter this is This is a great review. This is hilarious. Uh, everything about this remake was horrible. The acting, the script, the set, the wigs, the clothes. Just unwatchable. Oh, what? Unsalvageable? Yeah. Uh, very cheesy and watched like a bad, low-budget, made-for-TV movie. Does not live up at all to the original film or the story. Trailer looked amazing, but in this long-legs era we're living in, 
I guess trailers are catfishing everyone into thinking movies are actually going to be good. Waste of time and turned it off. Very disappointing, the story was chopped up and did not flow. Oh, here you go, here's a fan. I may be biased as a long-time King and Salem's Lot fan. As fans, we expect to see everything we loved about the book translated onto the screen. Therefore, after the first 15 minutes of complaining that it wasn't the same, I decided to watch the film as if it wasn't Salem's Lot, because it really isn't. My conclusion, that even as a standalone work of fiction on film, Salem's Lot is rushed, patchy, uh, missing huge, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, not good. Uh, again, here's a, here's a good one. Despite the fact Warner Brothers didn't greenlight this as a series or give the direct the creators more space to make a more developed film, Gary Doberman and cinematographer Michael Burgess still managed to make a quality Salem's Lot with good acting and lots of creative camera angles, point of views, and scares. You can tell the producers originally intended this film to be released in theatres. So those, again, not everyone hates it. Most people do. Uh, here's another good one. This is a great horror movie. Definitely worth the watch. Don't let the low scores keep you from doing so. These days, everyone is trying to be a critic and think it's cool to give low scores. The low scores only... I mean, you gave it five, mate. You fucking gave it five stars. Come on now. That's review bombing on a positive scale, but whatever. Now, the low score only means one thing. Most audiences have forgotten to just sit back and enjoy instead. Oh, instead they nitpick. Like they get paid to do it. Right, okay, so just... Shut up and consume, you bigot, is the uh, extent, uh, extent of that review. If it smells like a B-movie and looks like a B-movie, then it's a B-movie. Yeah, it's not great. Very cheesy acting and storytelling. Great. Uh, so very mid, full of gaps. Mate, I told you this. I said this. No one believed me. I had so much hate on that video. Have you consumed books or movies about vampires before? At this point, 90 plus percent of pop culture consumers have. Which means for most of us, there's very little that stands out about Salem's Lot. I guess I've never heard that White Roses can repel vampires before, but it's a blink and you'll miss it line. This movie jumps from scene to scene like it's going through a plot point checklist and still manages to leave out blah blah blah. Uh, with all due respect, this is one of the worst piles of shit I've seen in a long time. Well, there you go. Yeah, whatever. Look, I mean, it is what it is. Who cares? I th I just, yeah, I mean, it was never going to be good uh, for the simple fact that it had been delayed so much and then moved from theatrical to streaming. It was never going to be good. Anyone who thought this was going to be good, sorry, you're deluded. There's enough history to tell us that this was always destined to be utter drivel and shite. So there you go. I don't have anything else to say. Barlow's revealed. Oh, big scary Barlow. Doesn't he look great? Oh, yay. Mate, honestly, it looks like he's got an, a, like, like a fucking like a shellfish reaction. All right? It just looks, it looks like he's got a shellfish reaction. His face all puffy, puffy, looks stupid. Leave your thoughts down below. Take care. Bye-bye now.